Hello there, GCSE is, and today we're going to explore the question, what do Christians believe about the afterlife? Now, millions of people all over the world, not just Christians, believe that death is not the end, that there'll be actually something after after death that will keep us going. You know, many religions like Hindus, for example, and Sikhs believe that in reincarnation, where our soul will go to another body, depending on how good we've been in this life. But for Christians, the life, death and resurrection of Jesus show particularly their beliefs, particularly the idea of resurrecting, resurrecting into a better place, into a better body, so that people can actually go to heaven to spend their rest of their lives or the rest of their existence, the whole of eternity, with Jesus. Now, Christians across various cultures treat the dead with utmost respect because of this. They pray over them and hope that they will go to heaven, that they've done enough in this world, this worldly life to actually get to heaven. But different Christians have different beliefs about what actually happens when you die. For example, many Protestant Christians believe that the soul is the never-changing part of you, that bit that links you with your childhood and links you to your, former, to your future self. Sorry, um, That never-changing part of you is resurrected to heaven. And that's going to happen soon after death. So, you know, near, more straight away, you, this will happen. Your soul will go on to heaven or, or other things. Now, others believe it will be at some point at the end of time. So, when, when the end of time actually happens, there will be a judgment day. And we're going to look at that in a second. Other Christians, Christian denominations, Roman Catholics and some Orthodox churches, for example, believe it's actually our earthly bodies that will resurrect in perfection. That they will go to that our earthly bodies in some form of perfect form. So if we have a disease or an illness or something like that, that will go. There will be no pain, no suffering, and that perfect body will live forever with God in heaven. It's important to know, though, really, that all Christians believe that there will be some form of life after death. And this has been won by Jesus' death, and particularly by his defeat of death in his resurrection that we've looked at in the previous units. Now, Christians believe that life after death is available to all who believe in Jesus. The key thing is, we're going to look at this a bit in the next unit, whether other denominations and other religions actually are able to spend time in heaven according to Christianity. Some Christians believe that they're not, and some Christians believe that they can, depending on the life that they lead. Now in the Apostles' Creed, which is like an ancient statement of belief, the Christian belief, it summarises everything that Christians believe. It says that Jesus ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead, I believe in the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. So you can see from this statement, which is about happened about 300 years after Jesus died, well, a bit longer than that, it's really still important today, and other creeds and things like that still say that. You know, I believe in the resurrection of the body and life everlasting, so they believe that they will live on forever. And the key thing is there that Jesus will come to judge, judge the living and the dead. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, for Christians, it means that at some point in the future, in a heavenly kingdom, that God will come and judge everybody. And it's told again in this in this picture. We said we'd look at this, the parable of the sheep and the goats. And the shepherds will separate sheep from goats. You know, Jesus was obviously talking to, to shepherds when he was actually speaking about this, or farmers when he was speaking about this. Now, what will happen is that just as a shepherd separates the sheep and the goats when they go to market, so God will separate the good people from the bad people. And then he'll say to them all, he'll say to the good people, I was hungry and you fed me, thirsty and you gave me a drink, I was sick and you took care of me, I was a stranger and you welcomed me naked and you clothed me in prison and you visited me and the people will say we never saw you Jesus we never saw you and he said whenever you helped those who are not as important as me the least important you were helping me so basically Christians believe that by helping other people particularly the poor the least important that they will go to heaven so for Christians faith in God and Jesus are all important as I say it actually affects the way that they act and what actually Christians actually do now the key thing is that what is this place going to be like? What is it going to be like that you know this heaven that's going to happen? And and at well, some point in time, Thomas, one of Jesus' apostles in the Gospels, actually asks them, asked Jesus. He said Jesus was saying that he would, he was going to have to die. He was going to prepare a place for them so they could join him. And Thomas says, "We don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way?" Now he's talking about the way to get to heaven. And for the reply that Jesus gives is, is, is really famous. It's John 14, verse 6. And it's, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now, millions of Christians across the world have taken this really to mean that simply treating other people is not 
all that is vitally, vitally important, but it's not enough to guarantee a good afterlife. They believe that Jesus is the Son of God and teaching his in, and following his teaching is really important. But the key thing is, is that you have to have faith. So it's not just about being a good person. Belief in Jesus is important too. And that's going to lead us on to our next unit about heaven and hell and what different Christians believe about heaven and hell and whether actually it is that anybody can get to heaven or hell. But for now... What do Christians believe about the afterlife and heaven? You know, they, they believe that this life is all important about making sure that you can get to the afterlife, either by good works, by feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, etc., etc., and also by having faith in Jesus as being the way to get to heaven.